Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back for another video. I don't know why I did it. I'm not trying to intimidate you guys. I'm just doing something different. But, um, yeah, Trace McGrady, back in his prime, was unstoppable. I'm talking about dude was, I think at that point in time, he was average between, averaging between like 28 and like 30 something a game when he played for the Magic. Just when he was in his prime then, dude was killing people. He just dominating the, the, the NBA, man. Um, we're going to have NBA legends and players explaining how scary good prime Trace McGrady was. Um, so enough talking, let's get into the video, man. Hey man, it's your boy YG, aka Gala, and Tracy McGrady is one of my favorite hey. players of all time. I mean, if it wasn't for injuries, he would be in the top 10 players of all he time. Would. And he's he definitely, definitely in the biggest what ifs in NBA history. Yeah. I mean, guys, he was giving your favorite players buckets. He was basically he was. like Kobe with two <clears throat> or three extra inches. Nobody could guard him in his prime. He was literally a generational talent. But what made him great was the ability to come back in late game situations. I mean, he scored that, 13 yeah. points in 33 seconds. I was about to say, a lot of players don't even the average that. And that's a lot of players' <clears throat> averages. And it's hard to say that he was underrated because he still is in the Hall of Fame. And back in the day, they used to say who you think is better, Kobe or T-Mac. So people still recognize his greatness back then. And I will say this, he had potential have, to become might, a top five player of all time. Kobe, just his skill set alone is everything but, you um, want as an NBA player. Just be honest, he's the, debate, the literal man, definition of a created 2K player. Like, I mean, you, you he was the first he, dude off the backboard alley-oop. It was never seen before until Oof. Tracy McGrady did it. Just imagine Damn if Tracy eight, McGrady had eight. Kobe mentality or Michael Jordan mentality. Oof. Forget being top five player of all time, he'll be the greatest player of all time. So enough of me talking, let's listen to how that's, the NBA that's legends that's and players talk about like how that. good like Tracy McGrady all time. is. But before we get straight into but that, make sure you like, share, ball. subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the culture so you won't be missing any of my videos. I make sure I subscribe to this man. channel, but I don't think um, I have. So, I mean, there's, there's but, um, a lot of I'm guys. Sure the guy that always gave me the most problems actually track. was Tracy McGrady. Um, Tracy McGrady? Yeah, yeah. So, to him right now, there we go. Shout out to Tracy Young Gala, Young Gala, Gala, Gala. He had all the skills and all the athleticism. Make sure I subscribe to his channel. He was 6'9". Tracy McGrady just gave LeBron the nod like, did you see that? What did you think of that dunk, man, on the court? Man, that dunk was ridiculous, you know. Uh, that dunk was ridiculous. His athletic ability is beyond wonders. And, uh, you know, right now he's showing a lot. You know, the first game of the playoffs. And if you keep going, you know, I hope, hope they get a victory. Well, I, I do want to <clears> talk <throat> about this last subject of our black hair, Tracy. Because we all know one of the most talented people of your era. I was going to just say guards, but I really should say everything. Look at the video. Meta World Peace asked by Complex Sports if Tracy is in the same class as Kobe and Michael Jordan. Meta responded this. The only difference, I think, with Kobe was that Kobe lifted more than Tracy. So I think Kobe lifted really? more helped his career as far as staying strong. Kobe did 20 years. Well, I think that was the only major difference. As far that, as talent, Tracy hurt. had it all. He was Sorry, a big time player. He probably would have averaged hmm. the same amount of points nowadays even as back then. He was good. Very, very talented. Probably. <laughs> Definitely was on the level of Kobe and yeah, Jordan really at was. one point in time. Don't he miss that really Our guy, Tracy McGrady, is going to be inducted into the Magic Hall of Fame. Y'all were talking Mac, in one oh, of the breaks well earlier the show too. I'm talking like, you know, he didn't ever get a championship. Mac Chauncey, can you tell that story on TV? Yeah, well yeah, I was man. a counselor at the ABCD camp, and T-Mac was an unknown. Lamar Odom was the best player in the country at the time. In the first game of the camp, T-Mac played against Lamar. And I'll just say this. He went from unknown <laughs> to the best player in the country really? in one game. One game. It was unbelievable. I, I, I didn't, that I just like, shows who, how who crazy Trace McGrady game he was. The, along with him and Tim Thomas, T Mac was the best high school player I've ever seen. Uh, he was a, he was a man amongst boys. He was doing things that NBA players were doing in high school, and uh, that, I, I, I was a fan since high school. Uh, you just mentioned Trady, yeah, he Tracy McGrady. Yeah. He, he, wor he works for us. You, he was he, magic, you say? So how? Wild, I mean, you couldn't was, say enough good things about him. This dude was unbelievable, man. How, was how unbelievable. so? Because he could do everything. I mean, I, you know, um, I think I told yeah, him once. I said, bro, you could do everything I could do on the court. But you were 6'10". <laughs> Literally everything. I mean, he had no weaknesses, offensively or defensively. He really did. And uh, he was a nightmare to guard. I always wish if I had one player to play with, it was this guy. Because mm. he, man, listen, he could do everything I could do. 
but he was taller. You would have liked that too. When I talk to kids about that, I'll, that's what I tell them. And they ask about the hardest player I ever had to defend. I say, it's, it's pretty easy when it was Tracy. Because he can do everything I can do. Every time I played against him, I was like trying to solve a puzzle. Try to invent schemes almost, because regular ones wouldn't work. T-Mac was unleashed. Here's a guy at 6'9 that moved as if he was 6'3. Can literally do everything. He could turn left shoulder, he can turn right shoulder, he can score from the post, he can score from the perimeter, he can facilitate, he can defend. When you have that combination, it's extremely dangerous. Majority sets a franchise record 60. Just spend some time with us, bro. Man, any, any time, brother. Let's go see the tune. I gotta get in the studio with y'all. Yeah, hey, he that's crazy. Anytime I see T Mac, I automatically gotta do this, Matt. Uh, the hang dribble. I, 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 I gotta work on that. That's the king of the hang uh, dribble. Yeah. The hang. The has he pull up. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He's not to mention he has he pull up. But then once uh. he jumps, the nigga jumps as high as you possibly can on his jump shot. So there's no way you could possibly block his shot. No, he can't block his shot. That's insane. He'll has you and then yeah. take off into space and shoot a jump. <laughs> Game with uh, with Tracy McGrady. Oh, after at about eight watch years in a row, where he averaged 26, and then shoulder and knee and that kind of thing took its toll. Okay, why we got to show Sean Bradley always getting dunked? He's always getting dunked on. It's like that easy button he was talking about. No, I, I, I drafted McGrady in Toronto, and the thing that I saw in him that I loved about him in high school was that he did everything so easily yeah. and it gave the appearance that he was he nonchalant he didn't care but when you really broke it down on film he was fast he was athletic he was quick so consequently he would always be See, there waiting put your mind up, Kobe. and it looked like he was just school. you know you know <laughs> I mean, he, he was never out of he position. Might have been a bit better than Offensively, know. you know, his moves were quick. You know what y'all think. But they were slow because he was that fast. You know, so you you had a chance to really see him in action. And I I think from a shooting standpoint, from a passing a standpoint, uh, a ball handling standpoint, he was, you know, he was just about as good as, as we're going to see in this league. Uh, you know, man, I just wish he would have stayed healthy, man. Categories. If he had stayed you know, healthy, I, when I look like, at McGrady, I, 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 it reminds me of why rooms, Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan, why Larry Bird is Larry Bird. Oh, it's not just talent. Up. There's got to be a fire in the belly. There's got to be a competitive edge where you want to kill the guy across from you. And I've never played with Tracy. I've never had a conversation with him. But he's as talented as any player I've ever seen. But I don't think that ever, that fire ever manifested itself. You know, mm. I mean, it's interesting. You, in, mm. in, touching on what you said, Isaiah, the demeanor, the look, the appearance that he's not trying hard. Mm -hmm. I don't, but I don't think you Hill. need the league in scoring. Grant Hill had a guy you don't have a little bit of a fire. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, think, I think the Dad, problem was we Dad, just, it just worked. I was hurt. Together in I think it would have helped as an older player to sort of help show him a little bit of you know, how to do things. He was, he was 21 when he went to Orlando and just took off. Mm -hmm. So he was still young. And the team wasn't that great. And I think a lot of it was frustration. I think a lot of it was he just didn't know really what to do or how to conduct himself maybe as a teammate, as a leader. Uh, but in terms of, like you said, in terms <clears> of talent and going out and scoring like he scored, like you have to have a little bit of a fire. Michael better than the McGrady's and even now Kobe and, 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 um, and, and, and LeBron is the fundamentals of the game. He was still the best at. Mm -hmm. His correct hand was always in the passing lane. His footwork was impeccable. So it wasn't natural impeccable. talent that got him over that a lot of times. To he, to me, was the year. most fundamentally gifted athlete ever. Fundamentals yeah. with athleticism. Yeah. And, I had yeah. never seen, even Clyde Drexler, who was yeah. a great athlete, yeah. mm -hmm. didn't have the fundamentals as yeah. Michael, but that, he had the athleticism yeah. and everything else. But that, those three years at North Carolina and those Three, two or three years at Wilmington High School where he learned those fundamentals, I, uh, I think those were the difference yeah. with May Michael. And, I, and I, I would agree with you, not only in terms yeah, of fundamentals, but also Trish who McGrady, he, he learned knew from. fundamentals, but at the same I mean, time, you played under very Coach athletic. And you played under Dean Smith. I played under Bobby basket, Knight. Uh, uh, Dean Smith teaching Michael Jordan. So that, that level of philosophy coming mm -hmm. down and, and understanding how to play fundamentally sound. What basketball. it takes to win. Yeah, I, I mean, and, and Bird had great coaching at Indiana State. I, I remember um, 
Carl Nix, uh, number 22, uh, played at Indiana State with Larry Bird. Whatever shoe this Chicago is in the background right here. Mm-hmm. So I remember him coming back for the summer. Ugly. We were playing in the summer league. And I, I remember I asking him, I, say, I, don't think, I don't think it is. This is a Adidas is shoe. Is he really like, that good? He goes, he, he's that good, but his fundamentals are so flawless. Like, he never makes a mistake he, he in terms of his too. setup for the shot. He never makes a mistake in terms of his left hand layup or his right hand layup. Yeah, and his everything. fundamental setup is so everything. good, he always has time. So when, when Bird would catch the basketball, it would look like he would be able to catch it, spin it around, and... <laughs> I, you know what? The, you know, the, and because I'll, their setup was so good, and that's the same with Jordan. Right. And I think we mistake that for fire in the belly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, we we used to call that he has know how. Like Bird, Jordan, them guys had fundamental know how. Oh, sorry, Grady guys, sorry. coming from high school, he he didn't Lugging get the know how. You know, much. so everything much, had to be time, you know I'm tricky. Whereas them guys, you know, even yourself uh, playing under Lou Dawson, right? If you don't play under Lute Olsen, I don't know if you ever get into the NBA. Like because the fundamental base that you had, sleep. that know-how that they gave you, it wasn't because you were a great ball handler, you were a great athlete, you could outrun everybody. You knew how to get open. I understand what you guys are saying, but my, my point said, is, Thomas, I, mean, I look at McGrady much, and I think, I mean, the guy was a brilliant life, jump shooter. Man. I don't think his fundamentals were bad. They weren't, the they weren't man, what like, birds or magics were or, they're doing or a whole lot Jordan's. Of but did he ever step on the floor and just intimidate like story, people man. with his look? I mean, Larry Bird did that. Uh-oh. You know, Michael Jordan. Oh, guys, hopefully this reminded you how great Tracy McGrady was. Because, man, I tell you. Yeah, I mean, it right here. It's about close to the end anyway. But, um, T-Mac was, was, was that dude, man. I'm telling you, I, I swear, if he hadn't got hurt, if he hadn't had all those injuries that set him back like that, he would be a champion. He would be a champion. I swear he would. Dang, I just wish. Just like Ella Harrison, man. And just think. At one point in time, T Mac almost got traded to Philadelphia to play alongside Ella Harrison. If y'all didn't know that, look it up. Research that. I'm telling you, it's the truth, man. I I, I witnessed that. I'm not saying I was there, I'm just saying I knew about the um the rumor that he almost got traded to Philadelphia. I think from Toronto or from the Magic, one of the two teams he was on, um, they were talking about trading him. But um, I just wish, because he had got traded to um, Philadelphia with Allen Iverson, championship. Because you probably would have lured more players to want to play with them. As far as like uh, uh, veteran players that were willing to play with them and um, get a championship. But um, enough talking. Uh, T Mac, man, was a great player. Great overall guy. Um, just hate he never did get that ring, man. But uh, he's still one of the best of all time that, you know, play the game. And we all know that. We all witnessed that. And um, thanks for watching, y'all. Stay smooth. Stay blessed.